all right sorry for cutting out earlier i had to make a sharp uh right turn and then i had to downshift at the same time so probably not the best idea doing one-handed anyways here's a, a real quick shot of the bike like i said this is completely custom what you're looking at here is a tcr advanced two frame and fork that's pretty much where it stops and everything else is customized so told the guys at empire to pretty much try to build uh as close as possible to the pro one so what you're looking at altegra levers front back altegra brakes altegra crank i went with a compact 5034 just because i'm a more of a spinner. I'll take a front derailleur and I'll take a rear derailleur with an Altegra cassette. They've been popped in a, an Altegra chain. I took the ride sense off my propel and held it onto here. And uh, I just really like the uh, the chain stays are a little bit wider on this bike compared to the propel. So on the propel I had to have a spacer in between the crank and the magnet just to shoot this out a little bit more and you can see here there's no spacer just because the clearance is a little bit tighter between the crank and the non-drive uh, chain stay. And I also have the carbon wheels, just uh, the exact same wheels that are on the Advanced Pro 1. These are the SLR 1. See the full carbon rim. And then you have uh, just some standard straight pull spokes. And then instead of the DT Swiss ratcheting uh, free wheel, just the standard uh, center Paul design. I like it real clicky, real nice sound. And um, yeah, engagement feels really nice. So I highly recommend these wheels. They also have the SLR Zeros, which have aero spokes. And then of course the, uh, the ratcheting hub. So anyways, this is the carbon frame, uh, T700 advanced carbon, just like the advanced pro. The only thing is that on this particular frame here, still a carbon fork, but then it's a hybrid sear, which uh, that means is there's a carbon fork and then it's made into an alu aluminum sear tube. So somewhere about here is where the junction is. And then I just have, you know, traditional giant contact bars and a connect stem. And then of course the carbon variant seat post. And then just the uh, giant performance saddle. Um, this is the exact same saddle that was on my propel, but for some reason, uh, I actually like it on this bike. It feels super comfortable and it's just, just awesome. I know it's a little bit on the heavy side, so I'll probably change it out eventually. And then of course I have my Altegra pedals to match up with the group. And also my Elite bottle cages. Uh, this bar tape, because you're wondering, is a lizard skin. As you can see, it's a dual tone, so it's got black and then it kind of meshes into a, a red on the bottom which is pretty awesome i think it looks pretty sleek it even matches up with my, my garmin edge 500 pretty awesome but anyways that's the bike hope you all like it and please like and comment and if not already please subscribe hit that subscribe button for me all right thanks and see you guys next time